Field Spas is the oldest and one of the largest performing ensembles that we had in New Horizons. It started out as the Oompa Band back in 2011 when former New Horizons member Linda Watkins asked a number of us to stick around and play some German music after practice. The music was fun to play, so getting together after the regular rehearsal became a weekly thing for about eight people. One thing led to another, and about a year later, they decided to start performing for others. Linda Hartley arranged for Seth Moore, a former New Horizons member and cornetist with the Miami Valley British Band to coach the group. Coaching always helps. With Seth's help and the addition of a tuba player, the ensemble became, uh, made great strides. The group's lively music and silly humor have become very popular, especially during the fall Oktoberfest season. Actually, they perform quite a bit throughout the year. In 2018, after years of discussion, the group adopted the name Feel Spaß, which is German for lots of fun. Hey, Doc. Yes, Kay. You didn't tell me there would be this many people in the audience. <laughs> How many of you, raise your hand, please, if you like to hear, listen to good music. Well, I guess we got it. They're a very, very modest group, at least some of them. <laughs> hey, Vilsmas's first number is Schutzenfest Polka. When, uh, when we hear songs being played like that, we always say, Yee-haw-haw! Yee-haw-haw! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, hey, does anyone know what a shoots and fest is? No, this is serious now. This is, this is not one of Kay's jokes. Well, uh, a shoots and fest is a, a marksman festival. It's a traditional event from Germany and Switzerland dating back to the 1500s. Uh, originally, local militia men would gather to drill, train, and hold contests to determine who was the best shot. Today, shoots and fests are regional multi-day affairs with carnival rides, music, and dancing, shooting competitions, and lots of food and beer. Hmm. A festival involving shooting guns and drinking beer? Just what could possibly go wrong with that? <laughs> Kay, that was Kay, that was a great way to start the show. Of course, not the bad joke, but the great lively polka. I love polkas. I wonder if you guys could top it with this next tune, which is Marianka by Pepe Huber.
It's Sunday, and in Chicago, Sunday at my house when I was a kid was always polka time. My mom would turn on the radio full blast, and she'd be polka polkaing around the house. So I really love polkas. Uh, uh, Kate, yeah. I, I gave you a shot for a couple of jokes. They weren't so good. Did you want to take another chance at it? All right. <laughs> I do insist, Kay. Absolutely. Okay. Mark? Yes, dear. So Mark, yes, do you ever call her anything except dear? Because I know a couple good names. <laughs> it wouldn't be safe. <laughs> hey, that was great. Uh, but I think this group sa uh, saved the best for last, which is truly a classic. Uh, it's called Who Stole the Kishka? And Who Stole the Kishka is a tradi traditional polka tune. And, and the Kishka is a big fat sausage popular throughout Eastern Europe. Anyone familiar with Kishka? Anybody at all? I see a couple of hands. You know, I, I just love Kishka. Uh, it's, uh, it's often very dark colored with a filling made from a combination of meat and meal, often a grain. Sometimes it's called blood sausage. Uh, mm, 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 that's good eating, baby. Uh, uh, just a personal note about Kishka. I really love it. Uh, can't find it around here at all. Uh, so every time I go back home to Chicago, I, I pick some up. Now my wife Marty, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. Yes, dear. <laughs> uh, she won't even touch it. <laughs> she won't even touch the paper it's wrapped in. So I have to go home, I unwrap it, I cook it, I clean it. I have to clean every dish, pan, and utensil it touches. But it's a small price to pay for what I consider excellent gourmet Food. Here's feel spice. I spot yet feel.